Hey everyone, and welcome to today's workout. It is a 20-20-20 workout. So we're gonna split it into three disciplines and then have one workout, which will be step, one conditioning, one abs on the floor. So, work to your level, have fun. If you don't have a step, you don't even need to use a step. But if you're ready, we'll crack on. Really basic routine to get you going. So march, right leg. So hope you are well. Enjoying the weather. So if you're ready, a basic step, up, up, down, down. Now, just a word of warning. My step is really old. Good couple of decades, I'd say. So it might crack and creak as I go around it. <laughs> Four more, here we go. So there will be a basic pattern, just so you know. A single knee, corner to corner. So we will follow that base pattern and then I will just tweak things as we go. But it's really simple, I promise. Here we go, knees. It's approximately 20 minutes of each discipline. See how my timing goes. Repeat knee for three. And change. So just getting you used to it first before we go crazy. Single leg curls. We're just loosen up through the hamstrings. And again, still getting used to the pattern. Side to side if you are new to step. Repeat a curl. Here for three, please. Again, again. Okay, so three knees. Basic step, up, up, down, down. Three knees. And then basic. This becomes your base pattern. Fingers crossed. <laughs> if I know what I'm doing, it'll work. It probably won't. I always doubt myself, so insecure. Three, here we go. Basic steps. Again, again. And again, this is part of the workout. It's getting you warm, we're moving, cardio. Again, three knees. And again. So hopefully you know that pattern, you're happy with that. I think I'm happy. Good. Three knees. Little change. Really simple, I promise. My repeater changes to what I call a switch stomp. So I do my repeater, switch stomp, step back over, my basic steps remain the same. All I've changed is the first eight count. There it goes. The first eight count is the only thing I've changed. Here we go. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basic step. Again, again. Basic. Yes. We're going to stay here for a while. Do it again. Just to make sure. Again, again. Switch. Stomp. Step. Into your basic. Again, again, let's go, let's go. Happy so far? It was like, no, why didn't you just stay with the repeater? I know, right? Right, let's do it again. Switch, one more time. Switch, stop, step, basic step, hold. And again. Yummy. Switch. I've added a little change. Switch. I do my switch stomp. When you're stepping over, I go around during one basic step and then I join you for the last basic. Here we go, so switch, stomp, step back, step round the edge, 
one basic now and switch. Stomp, step, step, round. One basic, switch, yes. One basic, and again. So, switch. There it goes. But honestly, it's safe. Single curl, hold. I know, right? This isn't what I signed up to. So, the base pattern was one repeater with two basic steps. If you get lost, that's what you stay with. The first progression was your switch, stomp, step over, a couple of marches into your basic steps. Still form the 16 count block. Change to a single knee. This is part of the workout. Gives me a chance to explain. Our next progression, switch, stomp, step back, step over, step round the edge, or a jazz square. Ready? We're gonna do it together. Four more times, you with me? Last three, two more. As a team, switch, stomp, we go. Step over and back, round the edge please. One basic hold. Switch. Lost my balance there, but styled it really nicely. I'm going to do it properly. Switch. Stomp. See where I went there? I did my own thing. Rogue. Switch. Stomp, step over. Step back. Go round. Nice. Curl hold. So if you were trying to follow me there and I went a bit ad lib. <laughs> I'll use this as an excuse to say, as you can see, you can modify this block however you feel see fit. But I won't, I just went wrong blatantly. One switch, stomp step over, step round the edge, one basic, and we go, okay? Just getting it into my head. On four, three, switch, goes. Round, one basic. Switch, I'm back in the room. One basic, nice. Again, just to be sure. Woo. Round. Just remember it's 16 counts. If you're a counter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Happy days, one more time, goes. Yummy, again, again. Single curl, hold, hold. Should be feeling warmer now. If you're not, shut all the windows and doors. Okay, so the last basic step, I'm keeping very simple today. There will be more progressions down the line. It will become a reverse turn. Four more, here we go. No, he's not sure, please have a look first. From the beginning, switch. Stomp, step over, round. One basic step, switch. Round we go. One basic, it's a reverse, switch. If you happen to go, come with me now. One reverse, switch. Reverse, do it again. Up, up. Quickly for those not sure, up, up, down, down. That's your basic step. Up, up, down, down is a reverse basic. So you step to reverse corner and then back down. Nice, single knee. Feeling good? Should be feeling warm as well. Four more. So we're doing that again. Pick your level, pick your progression. Switch stomp, here we go. Round the edge, basic or reverse, 
again, again. There he goes for a step. It is quite safe, surprisingly. Switch, here we go. Again, again. We're doing it again, gang. Here we go. Switch. Stomp. Yes. One more time. Single knee. Hold, hold. Yes. So we're going again. On four. Prepare. Three. If you know it now, just wing it. Show off. Switch stomp. Here we go. Round we go. Reverse. Nice. Again. Again, team. One more, one more. Single knee, hold, 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 hold. Yes. <laughs> we okay? So these little intervals in between, we're gonna do it again. Again, every time we do it, the more you feel confident with it. If you've got someone in the room, show them how badass you are. Four more. Three. Two. Gang. Switch. Let's do it. Reverse. Again, again. Huh. Yes. Come on now. to start moving on to the next phase, the next discipline. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, on four, three, switch, show me now. Again, again. Yay, as a group, come on.
me, Howard. Howard, Howard. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, just a couple of moves to start getting our breath back. Bring us back ready for the conditioning section. Repeat in knee three. And again. Well done. So at this point, you can grab yourself a drink if you want to. Get yourself ready for the next section. Single leg curls. Into a basic step. Up, up, down, down. Well done, though, team. Seriously. Three. Two. March. So if you want to grab a drink, grab a drink. You won't necessarily need your step because you can do all these condition exercises without it. So you can either keep it or replace it. But when you're ready, let's go into the conditioning section. T, when you're ready, going into the conditioning element. Remember, work to your level, rest if you do need rest. Side to side, hold. Now again, if you don't want to use your step, you don't have to. For many of us, that would just add additional range of motion to make some of the exercises more challenging. Four more, four more. Okay. Squats, singles. If you're not sure what to use the step for, use it as a guide for where your feet are positioned. It's a good tool for giving you an idea so you can consistently get the feet at the width that you want to be. Gang, we do squat, curl, squat, curl. Working on an element of balance. Also a bit of a glute and hamstring squeeze with the leg curl. And there's an element of impact as that leg touches down. Again, too tough, choose your level. Gang, single side, leg curl, squat. Change legs. Yes. Are we okay? Change size again. Oh my goodness. We're here for four, three, two. Change sides. Step side to side. That was a nice little warm up. Okay, let's make something really hard. <laughs> Why not? If you're using your step, this is simply going to add additional depth so we get range of motion. If you're not using a step, there's no shame. I'm going to stand side on so you can see what I'm doing. Stationary lunge. If you're using your step, Feet squat distance apart, we're going to be lowering and lifting. Static lunge. Again, this is great for removing any impact. Singles, down and up. Oh yeah, and we're staying on the same leg. So as you do the lunge, you're aiming for sort of right angles with both legs. If balance is an issue, feet a bit wider, use a wall if there's one available. Okay. 
and change legs. Singles. Yeah. Another great lower body conditioning exercise. It's an awesome one for really beating the legs, thighs, the glutes. Everyone wants to help work on their bhutan. Again, again. Eight more times, let's go. Four more, get ready for the transition. Again, change legs. Here we go, again. Yes! What a strange way to help you through it all. And then you did a lot. Eight more, that's all, here we go. Eight, seven, six. We're strong, four more. Well, three in a transition. Change legs, team. Let's do this, come on. Eight more times, here we go. Four more times. Gang, relax, bring it round. Oh my gosh, side to side, just to keep the legs moving. Oh my gosh. That's not too shabby actually, feel fresh. Any questions? Good. Narrow lunge. Squat even. Can't get a word straight. Feet are in narrow position. Again, if you're using your step, let's up between the gap between the rises to give you an idea. Same typical squat position. Stick the butt out, be proud. Singles, down and up. Again, again, please. We've got this team. Anyone not feeling anything? <laughs> Any emotion at all? Eight more times. Eight, seven, six, nice. Four more, please. Hold this one down. Pulse. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. We are strong. Pushing four. Three. Two. Gang. March. Or a little step touch. Either works for me. So pleased right now. So pleased. So again, the step is just being used as a marker. Your plie, the normal squat, the lunges, and the narrow focus more centrally and glutes. We're going to hit the plie for the inner thighs. This is your pretty squat. If you're using your step as a guide, you want the feet nice and wide, so to the edges of the step. Toes point outwards. That's going to help with the knee alignment. Body upright, chest high and proud, but slightly tucked. Singles, down and up. Again. So you want to make sure with the plie, if you do do these quite regularly, keep the chest high so the upper body is upright as you can. That way you're going to focus more on the inner thighs. The moment you pivot the body forwards, whoop, you detract some of the workout. It doesn't. It sort of eases, and relaxes some of the muscles as you pivot. Hold it down. Pulse. Just 
stuck with a bit of a burn through the legs. Nice right, area down here. <laughs> That's an instruction and a compliment at the same time. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Bring it up. Singles. Yes. Try to get the leg shakes now. Again, again. Nice work so far. Eight more like this if you can. Here we go. Eight. Yes. Four more. Last three. Two more. Gang, hold it down. Pulse. Days. We're here for eight, seven, six, five. Pushing four, three, two. Relax. Oh my daydreams. One more exercise. Then we're gonna to go to the ground to do some abs and core. If you've got your step, you can now use it. If you haven't already been. Again, you don't need it. This again to finish off. The 100 knees. Yes. Final burnout of the legs and the glutes. Also a hideous cardio bit. On the same side, knee repeater hold. Okay, you see I'm literally melting. Whew. Keep going here, keep going. Yes. Nice. So you will feel it in the stability leg, as well as the leg that's doing the moving. It starts to work its way up, it creeps. Again. Pushing here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Gang, change legs. Yes. Nice push. And again and again. Oh, leg didn't like that one. Come on. Yes. Pushing eight, seven, six, five. Strong, four, three, two, gang march. Little step. Do that one more time. Then we're gonna have a lie down. I promise. I do promise. So, four, three, knees, go. It's a lot for prime moment, right? Eight more, here we go. It's eight, seven, six. Push, stay strong, here, four, three, Two, change. Eight more, come on, we got this. Eight, seven, six, five, push, four, three, two, March. Yes. Gang. Grab a drink. Wipe yourself if you're starting to sweat a lot. We're going to go to the floor. The abs and core. Poet, oh, you didn't know it. So when you're ready, I'll meet you on the floor. Yes. Oh my gosh. I feel quite positively ill. Okay, you ready? Oh, that felt like longer than it was that last section. I'm cheating you a bit. But we'll make up for the time, I promise. The chit chat. Right, so I'm gonna use my step. It gives you an option to show that you can do your abdominal workout on the step, as well as just on the floor. If you want more stability, please go to the floor. 
to wipe my sweaty self. Okay, starting off nice and easy, abdominal curls. Lower back pressed into the floor or the step. Two count. Lift, lift, back and back. Now please remember with a basic curl, you only go as high as you can, keeping the small of the back pressed into the floor. So you don't have to curl all the way up. Just allow the spine to do its curl. Works again on an element of mobility at the same time. Good, again, again. Two more. Into singles, one up, one down. Eight more times, let's do this. Eight, strong, yes. Four more, four more. Hold at the top, guide. Nice now we get to lie down. It's the best way to make friends. <laughs> Abdominal crunch, progression one. The legs come up to tabletop position. Imagine your legs on a small table, child. You can place them on a chair if you need support for your legs. Two count up, two count down. When you're ready, lift, squeeze. So a crunch simply narrows the angle between your knees and your chest to maximize that deep tension crunch and curl of the torso. Again, again, let's go, let's go. Again, again. Singles, one up, one down. Again, again, eight more, yes. Okay, opposite elbow to knee, obliques. So again, you should be getting good at these now. Remember to focus on keeping the hips as still as you can to rotate through the torso. If you start to lift the hip, you start to lose the benefits of the exercise. We're working on the two count up and two count back. Now remember, it is quite common just to use the one arm and rotate if you feel comfortable to do so. Again, again, and. Four more. Into singles. Here we go. Eight more goes eight, seven, 
six, five, we are strong, pushing four, three, two, gang, relax, then we change sides. That's not about you. Okay, other side, same rules apply. Starting off with a two count lift, two count lower. Again, we go on four. Here we go, two up. Lift, twist. going come on now if you find it's too tough just go back and do one or the other you have options if you feel the urge to cry just go for it use that as fuel four more times we've got this two more one more nice relax down Are we feeling okay? How do you feel about the plank? Yeah, me too. So when you're ready, we're going to roll over onto the front of the body. Oh. Now for this, I'm not going to use the step. That would be silly. So hands are going to go flat on the floor, elbows under the line of the shoulders to release any strain from the shoulders themselves. And then from here, raising up onto the knees to a full plank position. Get yourselves ready, I'm going to be nice. We're doing the eight count on, eight count off a number of times. So on four, get ready. Three, team, two, when you're ready, lift, hold, eight, seven. You get the idea. We're here, four. Three, two, gently relax, eight count rest. Why do planks take time so slow? It's crazy, isn't it? Right, we'll do that again. Team, if you're ready. On four, three, lift, hold. Okay. 
Ho, ho, four. Got leg shakes. Three, two, relax. Eight count rest, doing it again. Should we go for four sets? Thought so. Okay, on four. Three, two, if you ready, lift, hold, eight. We are strong, here's your four. Three, two, relax. Right, do that one more time. It's just so fun. Makes you feel so alive. Woo. <laughs> Get yourselves ready. And four, three, lift, hold, eight. Strong, strong, four, three, two, and relax. Oh, back to your back now, gang. Oh, that was lovely. So refreshing. Okay, so we're going to be working just a little bit of abs back and core, just easing off some of the superficial work. Using the pendulum. Those familiar with Pilates based exercise will be familiar with this exercise. Legs pop to tabletop position. You engage the core. Now, what you're looking to do from here, again, you can keep the feet flat on the floor. Let me stress that to those who are a bit unsure. And from level one, I'll start there. You're going to rotate the torso or the hips, sorry to the side, as far as you feel comfortable to go, back through centre, gently over to the other side. You should put a bit of a stretch and pull down the obliques, but maintain core control to help hit you in the deep, deep muscles, okay? If you're progressing, legs come up, as many may be familiar, and you gently take it to the side, and back through centre, okay? Working at your own pace, because I know that this is a bit of a technical exercise for many of you. So as we rotate under control, hold for a second, back to center, to the other side. Hold for about a second, feel that stretch and pull as you come back through. Then keep going at your own pace. Can you use this to focus on your breathing, put yourself in a place in which you feel comfortable. So we'll do one more on each side, so again, regardless of to the pace that you're working, one more on each side, just to be sure. Once you've completed your exercises, you can rest for a second. From there, back to your abdominal curls, just because. You're going to stretch the legs out nice and long though this time. Oh, pressing the small of the back of the floor, straight leg, abdominal curls. Two count will be lift and lift, back and back. I say this is a good exercise for those who like to go away or enjoy beach holidays and you also like to people watch so you can build up strength and endurance to just lift yourself casually up from the floor to snoop around again again up squeeze back and down Down into singles. Here we go. One up, one down. Eight more. Singles. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more times. Last three. Two more. Hold at the top. Last pulses, here we go, to the end. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, go. 
and relax down. Yes. We are done, just so you know. So we're gonna go into a stretch. Now again, for those who feel that they have had enough, totally fine. Please hydrate and stretch. Check out my other videos, get involved. For those who are following me and going through the little stretch bit, just to make sure that you are ready for the world or the world is ready for you. Oh, well done though. Big kudos to you. Bending at the knees. Yay. Back into the floor. Raise the knee, hold and rotate. Nicely done though, team. Relax, extend, hold above or below the knee, and ease, hamstrings. Nice deep breaths. Crossing the foot to the opposite knee, stretching the outer hip and through the glutes. As you relax, keep hold of the other leg, rotate the ankle. Relax and extend, above or below the knee, ease, hold. the opposite knee, gang, reaching through the gap, outer hip, glutes, as you relax, quads, front of the thigh, get back onto the stomach, you can lay on your side if you want to. Raise one foot to the butt and stretch. Push the hips into the floor. Gently change legs. Slowly to your hands and knees. Into your cat stretch. Relax the head and shoulders, push right up. As you lower down, stretching through to the cow stretch, stick the butt out, be proud. Back up into your cat stretch. As you relax, sit back to your child pose, arms and ring. And relax. Gang. Yes. So very, very well on today. We are done. Yes, we are. Please check out the other videos. Don't be shy. Go and try them. See what you like. There's a mixture of upper body, full body, lower body, abs and core. So there's a bit of something for everyone. Also, if you want the cardio, we have the dance, aerobics, step aerobics. So please check them all out. There's also a few tutorials thrown in there as well. Just very basic ones to show you how to do some of the basic moves if you're not sure. But have a wonderful day. Meet new people if you can. Make new friends if you want. And I will see you again soon. Peace.